Hi, uh, I'm Dr. Ed Weber. I'm a medical oncologist. For quite some time, I've written uh, a monthly commentary called the Prostate Cancer Commentary. The current issue is on uh, genomic sequencing and genomic classifiers. Uh, and this uh, information is fairly different one from the other. Uh, so I've tried to explain the difference. The genomic sequence I'm discussing uh, tries to indicate when and who should be uh, sequenced to see what mutations they might have in their genome. Uh, I explained that the principal utility of this is to see who might be candidates for PARP inhibitors, such as olaparib or rucaparib. Uh, and I follow the NCCI guidelines indicating that the people that should be tested are those who have uh, metastatic prostate cancer, cancer resistant, uh, and um, high risk prostate cancer, or perhaps a strong family history. The other area is genomic class. Uh, I talk about Oncotype DX, Prolaris, and uh, 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 Decipher, pointing out what, they, uh, what information they provide. And I give three examples uh, where they give important information for people thinking about starting active surveillance, or receiving radiation therapy uh, after salvage uh, uh, treatment, or perhaps uh, persons who've had radiation therapy and are contemplating a period of adjuvant uh, androgen suppression. So uh, the main thrust is to point out that uh, genomic information nowadays is becoming uh, increasingly important in the management of prostate cancer. So I hope you enjoy the commentary.